Finn always staying in places where he should be going. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester for the Bold and Beautiful June 13, 2024. Okay, so I guess we're going to start with Finn. So, look, I said he always stand. He over here sipping tea and stuff. Then she said she gave him tea or something. I see you over here sipping tea. I see you already ain't supposed to be there. I understand he came there to check on bed to get her the medicine, all that good stuff. That's understandable. But after you did all that, you supposed to be head out. Go on, what SpongeBob? That SpongeBob means say, all right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> but, okay, on today's episode, let me see. Hope was still talking about how Steffi treats Finn this type of way she's not treating him right or whatever i just think he's so amazing all this other extra stuff she be doing she ends up telling her mom how she doesn't think that finn is happy with steffi i said <laughs> brooke started trying to tell her look at first i didn't peep game y'all i didn't understand where they was going with this whole bell situation until brooke had left and uh beth came out of there and she was like she gonna call the doctor or see can she get an appointment or something she said and i said oh this how you gonna end up over there but do y'all really think that they gonna be kissing and all this other stuff? Do y'all think she gonna be fantasizing again? What are y'all thoughts coming down below? Ridge was talking to Carter about Brooke filling in for him and stepping up or whatever. So now Ridge has this idea. He wants Brooke to step up and revive her bedroom line. She finally ended up agreeing and the look on Steffi's face, the look on her face. I said, I bet she said I can't get rid of these logans for nothing in the world. I'm sick of seeing them. <laughs> Steffi was talking to Finn. She was saying how the less time he spends with Hope, the better. When Hope ended up calling Finn, he was looking at his picture with Steffi or whatever, but he ended up going anyways. Something Brooke said. She was telling Hope how she can't normally go after Steffi's husband. She keeps telling her, that's Steffi's husband. <laughs> that's Steffi's husband or whatever. I know. I just feel like she doesn't treat him this way and all this. I said, oh, Lord. I want her to tell Finn how she feel, and I want to see how he reacts. I want to see if he puts her in her place because he definitely didn't put Sheila in hers. But at this point, I think they're just trying to break up Steffi and Finn anyways. I said, you don't need no excuse to because they was never going to last anyways. But after he helped, I think I already said this part. But yeah, after he helped Beth and gave her medicine, she went, put her to bed or whatever, came back out. She had gave him some tea and he was just standing up there. He was just standing up there. But on that preview on Friday's episode, they showed a preview and... I think Hope had told Finn that she can't stop thinking about him. And then that's when they started kissing or whatever. But will it be another fantasy? Or will it really happen this time? But yeah, I said, every time you see him, he doing something he ain't got no business doing. He's staying where he should be going. You don't did what you supposed to be and did? Okay, get up out of there. Get up out of there. But yeah, the countdown begins, y'all. The countdown begins. But that's it. Let me know your thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how girls today. Be safe.